what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Ice Cube was scheduled to make an appearance on ABC's Good Morning America May 28th. But after the murder of George Floyd on May 25th, he canceled. I apologize to everyone expecting to see me on Good Morning America today, he tweeted. But after the events in Minnesota with George Floyd, I'm in no mood to tell America good morning. Fans responded to his cancellation and hoped he would use the GMA appearance as a platform to share what he's been expressing on social media. One fan wrote, you could have used that platform to bring more awareness to it and also make a statement that needs to be made. Nonetheless, we all cope differently, so I'm not faulting you for it. Cope the way you need to. Q responded, I'm done talking. These people know right from wrong and they obviously don't care. So what we talking about? After footage documenting how Floyd died surfaced online, Cube didn't hold back on his feelings regarding the death. How long will we go for blue on black crime before we strike back, he tweeted May 26. The next day, he posted a photo of the officer who knelt on Floyd next to an image of what looks like the same man wearing a Make Whites Great Again hat. The FBI knows exactly who the racists are in each police department and still let them keep their jobs until something like this happens. Stop sitting on critical information. Weed them out and keep them out. Now, Johnny come lately again, he tweeted. Great decision, Cube. Great decision. I was reading some of the comments online after news broke that Cube was canceling his appearance and some of the degenerates showed up as usual. Well, that's a good thing. Oh, wow. I was looking forward to seeing Ice Cube on Good Morning America. They are against anything that's black. Anything that black people do that's positive or any time that black people stand up for themselves or stand on something, they got a problem with it. A lot of degenerates around here. A whole lot of them. I don't know where they come from. Well, I, I got an idea, but it's hard to get rid of them. It's hard, man. America has an infestation problem. It's called racism. And boy, it is the worst infestation ever known to man. The COVID-19 pandemic ain't got shit on racism. I mean, shit. That racism, cold-blooded, boy. I mean, they wake up living it. They go to bed living it. They look forward to it. For many of them, that's all they have. They would be nothing without racism. Without being able to feel like they were superior, without actually having a clear-cut advantage because of racism, without being given that extra opportunity because of racism. They wouldn't be able to cope. Think about all of the everyday struggles that normal people have, the regular stuff everybody else has to do. And then think about those who take advantage of racism in America, systemic racism, who benefit from it, who don't have to work as hard, don't have to be as good, can you imagine how they must feel to know that they're only average or subpar? But yet, here they are. They have a position over somebody that they know is clearly smarter than them, clearly more talented than they are. I'm not an emotional man, but when I heard Cube had canceled his Good Morning America appearance due to George Floyd's murder, I became a little warm and fuzzy inside. Then later that night, just before I closed my eyes, I faintly whispered, today was a good day.
no more talk. What the talking about?